he could just he could just go. <laughs> but yeah. Hello. Hello. Welcome to our gameplay, our let's play of Scythe. Um, this is gonna be fun, exciting. So if you haven't played Scythe before, it's a really fun. Um, what type of game is it? It's a Euro Work, game. Euro game? Area, Worker placement, control, area control. Yeah. Action so, selection. Of course. Action selection. Yeah. It's a board game. And it's going to be fun. Like that's boring. <laughs> but not boring. Uh, uh, so um, we got a couple, a couple of faces <laughs> that you might have seen before at game night here uh, playing with us tonight. Of course, Jacob and I are here playing. Uh, we got Mitch over here who's going to be playing. Uh, we got Kyle to join us. And we got TJ, who's going to teach the game Whoa. and uh, play along with us tonight. It's also TJ's game. It is also TJ's game. Thank you, TJ, for bringing your game. All right, TJ, take us away. Okay, <clears throat> um, so bear with me. Uh, I might get a rule or two wrong because that happens to people sometimes. This is the first time I'm ever teaching a game on camera, so I'm going to go. All my qualifiers are out of the way. <laughs> here I go. All right, so I'm going to be primarily teaching it to Mitch here because he's the I only no one that hasn't played. Yeah. He has no idea. Unfortunately, Mitch is the only one that has not played this Which game. Which is good because um, he can uh, give us his, questions his experience. And I will not pay attention and figure yes. out what's like, okay. as, as so, All right, so in Scythe, we are going to be, uh, our goal is to end up with the most money at the end. Those are going to be your victory points, okay? okay. So you're going to be spending money, you're going to be moving, you're going to select, be selecting actions and doing a ton of stuff all over this board. Uh, using your ship, airships, which we are playing with the airship expansion, so, uh, and then you get, I uh, have these encounters, you have your characters and all that. Alright, on your turn, you're going to take your, uh, your action pawn here, not sure of the official term, but you're going to take this, and you're going to choose one of these four spots on your board. So there's, uh, those are going to be the different actions you can do. So you can, uh, there's a top action and a bottom action for each. When you choose one, you do, you do the top action, and then you can do the, bot the bottom action afterwards. You cannot choose the same one that you were already on. So everybody has the same actions on their board, but they're in different orders. All the top actions are going to be ordered differently on everybody's boards, and the bottom actions are all going to be in the same order, but they're going to cost different, uh, different amounts for everybody. To start, I'm just going to go in from, on your order here from, uh, from left to right. So, uh, so yours, the first action is trade. So to do this action, uh, you will uh, pay one dollar to do it, and then you have an option of either uh, trading, you get resources, or you can go up in popularity. So your popularity is going to be over here, and you'll just move it up one step. Uh, if you choose to do the resources, you just gain any two resources, uh, and you put them on a place where you have a worker. These are going to be your workers. Uh, everything you have is a, is a unit, uh, but these are workers. This is your character right here. Is that a tiger? Uh, yes, you have a little tiger. And then these are uh, mechs. So those they're going to have different different names, but they're all units. Uh, and then your ships are something separate. They don't they, they don't count as units. Uh, so when you do that, so you get to choose any of the two any two resources in any combination, and you put them with your workers with somewhere where you have a worker. Okay. Uh, and yeah, that's where you pay to trade, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. So you're going to pay the one. You do that, or you can move up Pop in one popular. Okay. Uh, next, the next thing, uh, next action over here, which is your uh, bolster action. So you can pay one one dollar, and you can move uh, go up in power two times. So your power is going to be over here. So uh, you'd be red. So you'd go up from three to five. Okay. The max power you can have is sixteen. The lowest you can have is zero. Or you can choose to take another combat card. So the combat cards are going to look like uh, that right there. Uh, you should have two to start with. So you can pay one to bolster twice. Or you can uh, you know these gain one more of those. Right. Yep. So the next action is going to be to uh, to move. This is going to be your move action. This one's going to be one of the most important actions. You'll notice on there there's two little squares with little guys on there. That means you can move one unit uh, or one of your uh, one of your pieces uh, one time. Okay. Uh, so if uh, and that means one one time and then another one one time. So it's not one twice. It's two once. Okay. So I can, I can move uh, that worker there, and then that worker there, and that's my turn. Or I can move this worker uh, like that, and then I can move my character like so. But that's how you move. Mechs are going to be the same if you have a mech out there, and you have two movements, you can move the mech one and that. Mechs, though, can carry uh, workers. So if you, there's a worker here, you can carry that worker 
with him across, uh, to wherever. And he could also carry both of those as well. So you can carry any amount of workers with a mech, okay? You cannot cross these rivers or cross over or go through lakes unless you have an ability, which we'll get to in a minute on that. But for now, you are landlocked on this peninsula. Uh, yeah, if you move into the factory, which is this main this main spot here with your character, then you get to take a factory card. You'll look at all the factory cards. Choose one, keep it. They are going to look like an action space, and they will go on the end of your board, and they'll become a fifth action space. Uh, if your character reaches a encounter spot that looks like this, then you get to take an encounter card, which is right here. You'll read what's on the uh, you'll read what's on there. Uh, you'll show everybody the the artwork. Ooh, and the viewers yep. at home yeah, sure can see. The viewers at home can see. Yeah, there you go. Uh, all right, that's probably a bet. Uh, <laughs> so you read what these are, and then you will um, choose one of these. So, like for example, this is uh, discuss the blueprints over lunch, gain two food and one popularity. Use your technology to assist with the roadside construction. Pay three power and build one structure. Anyway, you're gonna choose one of those things <laughs> after you read them all. So this one will go to the bottom pile because I just read it out loud. Boom. Oh, I want. Okay. Right. Uh, in full disclosure, we are playing with the new encounter cards. I didn't mix them with the old ones, so that's all that's going to come out are new ones for anybody that's played before. Uh, tunnels. So when you move, so there's all these tunnel spaces. Okay. They are adjacent. So if I can move from here to here for as one move. Okay. And then from here to here, and so on. Okay. So that that would count as one move. Uh, your character can carry workers too. Some anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so you think you work? Oh yeah. Also, resources can be carried by workers and stuff too. So like, if you ever leave like resources behind, if I can grab any, uh, then that's not owned by you. That's not owned by anybody. So you're gonna want to carry them with you. And you can carry any amount of resources with workers and, and whatnot. All right. So that's movement. Uh, instead of moving, you could also choose just to gain money. Okay. So then the last thing on here is producing. So uh, when you produce, uh, possibly. So the cost of it is going to be uh, nothing for you right now, but in the future it could cost you more. A little more expensive. Yes. Uh, so uh, right now you can produce on two different territories, which currently you have two territories of workers. So you have to have a worker in that space, uh, and then you produce whatever it is at the top. So this is a village, so that's going to produce a worker. So and then you'll take a worker and place it out there. With them, so now you have, now you'll have another worker there. If you had two workers here and you produced, you'd actually get to produce two workers. So, however many workers you have on that territory, you get to produce that much. Okay? What resources? So, if they were on this, I produced like two civil, civil bars, right? Yeah. Versus so if you, yep. Other. So if you're on a mountain space, and is that just my action, or is it every turn you produce what? No, that's produce? that's just when you do the produce okay. action. Yep. So then here you'd get two iron, two oil, uh, two food, and two wood. Well, I mean, if you had the two people there. Otherwise, it's going to be one per. One per worker. Uh, but you can do it on two separate places. So if you had three out there, uh, you, you'd have to, if you had one here as well, you'd have to choose two of those to produce on. As you get more out there, you'll notice that it's uh, more expensive. Uh, so now if you were to produce you have to spend one power to uh, to actually do the produce action. Okay. okay. So the bottom actions are all going to be in the same exact order for everybody, but they cost different. So once you've done the top action on a space, you can do the bottom action. And they're going to cost resources. So the first one is going to be your upgrade space. So that's going to cost uh, oil. So however much oil Upgrades, is there. Yeah. Yep. And then you can upgrade it. On some spaces, there's gonna you're going to get extra money. Uh, when you do it, you know, yours, however, on your upgrade, you don't get it, you just upgrade. So when you upgrade, you're going to take one of the one of the cubes, six cubes that you have up here, okay. uh, and t uh, take them off and put them on one of these bottom spaces. Just because you did the action here doesn't mean you can't, you have to take the cube from that space. You can take, when you upgrade, it can be any of the same cubes. Like, so I'd get like two... Yep. What, what, what are those going to be? Hearts? Popular. popular. So, yep, so too, now here... I get too popular. Yep, so now you can, when you do this, no, no, not when you upgrade. So you're going to take this off... You're gonna move it down to one of these, making you'll notice that they're not they're slotted spaces, right? Yeah. So uh, you'll move those down there, and now this is gonna be a cheaper. This action is gonna be cheaper for you to do now, and uh, you also you if you do this action when you gain popularity, you gain two instead of just one. So 
Uh, if you brought this down here, you'll notice there's two spaces, so you just slide it over to the right, and then next time you it's kind of upgrade again. It's kind of making it Yeah, makes things, are me, are, yep, makes things cheaper, more, yeah. and then you get more from the top, yeah. so you're, that's your upgrade. Okay? The next space is going to be uh, deploying mechs. You'll pay the iron for it, and then you'll do that, gain the money, and then you'll choose one of the four mechs that you have to deploy, and you're going to deploy them to a space where you have a worker. Okay? Any of the, any spaces you have a worker. And then you'll notice on there that you have uh, different abilities that'll, that'll start happening once you, uh, once you... So you uh, want to get your mechs out there. Yeah, so. exactly. And then they become other units that you can use in, like, combat and whatnot. Okay. That was one thing I mentioned. Uh, for this one, it's, uh, yours says, uh, move across rivers to farms and villages. Uh, so that, what that means is now you can start moving across rivers, but you can only move two farms, which are going to be uh, these spaces with the food, or villages, which are these spaces with the little meeple. You can't move your workers across rivers and stuff, only your mechs and your character. That's what this symbol right here means, is only those get to do that. So your character can now, once you reveal this one, can now move into villages or into farms. If I wanted to get back over here, I could, but if I, was, if I went over to this, I can't go back that direction because it's not a village or a farm, okay? But I could go like that to get back. So that's all what those abilities do. Um, so that's how you get mechs up. Next is gonna be uh, the uh, build. So it's gonna be, there's four buildings on your board. So you'll pay the wood, you'll gain the money that's there, and then you'll put one of the four buildings out. So the different buildings are gonna be your armory. So they have to go to where you have a worker, and you can only build one, uh, you can only build one building per uh, tile. per tiles. Okay, so if uh, if you build here, nobody else can build that build there. Okay, if you're not there, you do control this. However, if I were to move in, now I control it, even though your building's here. I don't control this building; I just control this space. Do you have to build, put these buildings out to act to use these yes. features? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. So, well, not not to use these actions. So when now that's the point. Yeah. I'll, I'll show you. I haven't got to that yet. So when uh, you place the building out. Uh, now, whenever you do this action, you're going to also get to bolster one. So you'll get to move up on your power one space every time you do this action, regardless of which one of those two things you choose to do. Uh, when you do the, uh, the monument, now every time you do this action, you'll also get to go up in popularity once. So the monument and the armory don't do anything for you on the board. They only do something for you on these actions. Okay. The tunnel or your mind, sorry, goes somewhere, and now it counts as your own personal tunnel. This is adjacent to uh, any of the tunnel spaces. Not somebody else's mind, just any of the tunnel spaces. But, so now you can build it here, and then you can go whoop, and that helps you skip, like, rivers and stuff, because okay. now you don't have to cross river, you just go through your own personal tunnel. So th this one helps you on the board, and so does the, uh, it, you place it on the space, and it counts as a worker on that space. So when you produce, now you can produce on the two regular spaces plus the space that has the mill. And if there's any workers with the mill, they also produce. It's just like a permanent worker. That's the same yep, thing. exactly. So every time you produce, you will get to produce wherever that mill is at. Okay. All right. So uh, the last thing is going to be uh, enlisting. So enlisting is going to be these uh, four things on the bottom here. So when you do that, you're going to pay food. You're going to take one of these off of any of the four spaces, and you're going to place it on one of these four spaces right here. They're one-time bonuses, so if you go here, you get to bolster two, two you get two dollars, two popularity, or two combat cards. Okay. Uh, and then, in the future, when anybody uh, that's sitting next to you, so in this case it would be, because Kyle's gonna be here, and Jake's gonna be there, uh, if either of them do this bonus, the instant list action, you get that bonus. So you, in this case, you would get uh, a combat card if either of them did that action. Here you would gain a popularity, here you would gain a coin, and here you would bolster one. And you can enlist up to four times. Uh, you have these... Uh, I can look at these, right? Yeah, sorry, I should not look at these because these are Kyle's, but you do have these... Uh, oh, these, really? <laughs> these secret objective cards. Uh-oh, Kyle. You do have these I think I should get new ones. Yeah. Hey, well, Jacob, can I... I'm going to explain oh, this game yeah, for you sure, first, absolutely. so I'm going to look at these yeah. so I can see what <laughs> You do have these secret objective cards, right? So, uh, they... Uh, they do different things. You can fulfill one of them. Once you fulfill it, uh, at the beginning of your turn or at the end of your turn, you can uh, show, reveal it that you've done it. And once you've done it, you get to place a star on the board, which leads me to stars being placed on the board. So how do you win? The game ends once one of us has placed all six of our stars okay. on the uh, 
Oh my gosh, the, Star Trek? the Triumph track. This is Star Trek? Triumph track. Yeah. This guy. Yep, so that's once you've gotten all six of your upgrades out, you can place a star as soon as you do it. The next one over is once you have all four mechs out, you can place a star on there. Uh, that, that one is once all four uh, buildings. buildings have been built, you can place one. All four enlists, so all these, all four of those uh, enlistees are out. Uh, is there like one per person? Like can no, any amount them? of people can be on those cool. those spaces, but just once you've finished it, you get a place there. Uh, have all eight of your workers out on the board, so that's all these guys. Uh, the next is uh, complete one objective card, so you can only complete one objective card, that's it. The so, whole game? Of the other two, yes, correct. Really? Yeah. Yep. So, but they, they're like... They take a while for you to build up. Yeah, they're not, they're not easy cards. to get to. Okay. Uh, the next two spaces are win combat. So that's either, even if you didn't initiate the combat, you still win. You can place a star out there. There's You could do that twice. So mm -hmm. that's why there's two spaces. It's the only one you can do twice. Yep. And then the next one is get I'll reach 18 on the popularity track. Even if you were to go down in popularity after you've reached 18, you keep, your star stays out. Okay? And then the last space is uh, have 16 power. So you bolstered all the way up there. Same deal as the... Uh, Popularity. If you reach that and you move down, you still get to keep. So we're trying to do the to win, like basically. Just Not yeah. necessarily to well, win, because uh, winning is having the most money. You put in there. Oh, okay. That just ends the game. Yeah. yeah. First person to get all six out there ends and the game. It's like if you want to just rush and end the game right away, you might. Yep. So uh, the last someone. thing is going to be combat that I'm going to. Is this a fidget spinner? No. <laughs> uh, so uh, this is for combat. So let's say What's figure? your health or whatever. You wanted to move into That's this space. Fighting. Alright, so let's say you wanted to move into this space, right? And so you come over here. At, at the end of your all after the end of your all your movements, now you're gonna do any combats that need to be. So you cannot sh ever share a space with somebody else. Okay? So if you're in here, you're gonna have to fight. So in this case, since you each have uh, we each have uh, one uh, mech in there, we both could play one combat card. Uh, up to one combat card. So uh, I'm just gonna take one four as an example. Alright, so combat powers. cards are going to be, uh, <laughs> yeah. he actually doesn't have any. Uh, so they're going to be uh, from two to five. Okay. On the board it shows you how many are in the deck total. Okay, so what you're going to do is like, in this case I could play that. You're going to choose, then you're going to choose, look at your uh, power here. You're going to use some of that power. So if I wanted to, I have five here. If I wanted to use three of the power and then I use this one card to make eight. I'm going to do this secretly, okay? And then you're going to do the same thing. And then once we're both done, we're going to reveal. And then whoever has the higher power... Uh, wins. If it's tied, tie goes to the attacker. Thank you. So why would you never want to use your full power? Because it takes because at the end, once you've used your power, even if you lost, your power okay. then goes down. So yeah, because you're going to be using it and gaining it and all that. So just uh, like my weight. Yep. And then you lose <laughs> the card. If you if you spent at least one power from here and you lost, you get to draw a combat card. Okay. Uh, if I had two mechs here. I could use two, uh, give me another one. I could use two uh, combat oh. cards. One more thing, so if uh, we were to fight in this space, you came in here with yeah. your character to fight my mech. If I have a worker here and you beat me, so when you lose, all of your people there go back to your home base. He's my slave. No. No, he's not. No. So they go back to your home, your home base, and uh, any workers that were there, you're going to go down that many popularity for each one because you scared them away. So you would, if for beating me in that case, you're gonna go down one. If so you I lose popularity with common folk, right? Yes, exactly. So if this guy wasn't involved in the battle, then you would be fine. Okay. Uh, if you move into a space that just has a work, has a regular worker, you don't. There's no battle, but you do scare them away and you do lose popularity. Jump into the ships, man. So the ship, everybody's got a ship. So uh, your ships can move when you do the move action, and they they count as one of the two units or three units that you can move. However, ships have their own specialties, and in each game there's going to be a different two of these different tiles that come out that uh, sh give the ships their abilities, okay? This is the, these are the ones we're using this time. We're using boost and toll. So boost gives you how many spaces it can move. So for one movement, it can move two, uh, two spaces, okay? This does not upgrade its movement. It'll always be two. So you can move it one, two. Ships can move through territories that have other people because they you do not control the territory that your ship is in. So you can fly through uh, and people can move into, okay? Uh, so, but with boost, it says when moving out of your airship's territory or home base, 
your characters, mechs, and workers gain plus one range. So that means if I were to move this guy out of this space, I normally would have one right now, but now you, I could have a second movement because I'm moving out of where the ship is at. Same with the worker, I could go one, and then, well, I guess, I, yeah, I could go one, two. And the next one is the toll. You can carry three resources on the ship, so you can't carry workers or anything, but resources. So I can place one there, and you can carry up to three. So you can kind of just like fly them around to other places or just keep them safe up there. An opponent's unit may move onto or through your airship's territory only if it's transporting resources. Unless your airship is full, place one of those resources on this airship. One, uh, one per unit, you choose the resource to take. So, if you're right here and I want to move into that space or through it, uh, I have to have resources with me. So say I have these, I'm like, oh shoot, I really need to get over there. So I can move through here, and then you choose one of those resources to take as long as you have a space. If you don't, you don't get to take any, but I can still move through like that. And then you would take the one of those that you want as a toll to move through that space. You can't move through them if you don't have resources. Correct. If you don't have resources, you cannot move into there. <laughs> Only with workers, right? It says... With anything. With anything, because you can carry resources, yeah. <laughs> any opponent's unit, correct. So those are the different things that those do. If you need to look at them, just let me know. They're over there. Uh, game ends when somebody's placed their six out there. So let me explain scoring, and then we'll be good to go. So scoring is going be to de be determined on which tier you're in. There's three tiers. So that's going to be your popularity at the end. If you're in this, this tier, you'll score with these. If you're in this tier, you'll score with these. If you're in this one, you'll score with these. Let's say we're in the first tier. Uh, so you're going to score stars. So however many stars you've placed out, you're going to get this many points uh, for... Those. So you get three points for each star. If you were in second tier, you'd get four for each star. If you were in third, you'd get five for each star. Uh, next, you're going to do territories, how many territories you control. So uh, in the first tier, you'd get two uh, points for each territory you control. If you control the, fa uh, the factory, it counts as three territories. And then the last, the last space uh, on here is going to be for every two resources that you have, uh, you get you'll get in the first tier, you'd get one and then so on up there. So that's why popularity is important, especially towards the end, because a, a, a tier change can completely swing the game. Like you could feel like you've been doing way better than somebody else, but they're like two tiers ahead of you. They're probably gonna be a bit way better off because you get a lot more points for being more popular. Just like high school, right? Just like high school. This is just high school, the board game. Then so. high school musical. There's this special bonus tile, uh, scoring tile that comes. Uh, there's different ones for each game. You just mix them up. And you get a random one. This one is for every building, uh, for every uh, lake that's touching one of your buildings. You're going to get a certain amount of points. So if only one lake is touching your buildings, you get two. If you get if two for three, you get four, and so on. Uh, each lake can only be counted once. So if I had a building in both of these spaces, I that counts as two lakes, not three because I don't count that like twice for these two. Okay. Um, and then I think that's the last scoring thing, right? Yeah, I think so. that is, that's it. And then that's whoever it. has the most money wins. Wins. Cause yeah. So when we do our scoring, we're going to hand money out as that. And then uh, if you have the most, you win. Okay. You ready? You ready, I'm man? I'm so ready. Okay. You're so ready here. Let's right. reposition go, everything. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video today. If you liked what you saw, please feel free to leave a like for us. If you want to watch more or see more tutorials, subscribe and then we'll have more of those guys coming out as we work on them in the future. Uh, if you want to contact us, we have our links for the Facebook and Instagram and Twitter pages here on this ending. Um, and if you're interested in coming out to any of our game nights, take a look at our uh, Facebook and our Instagram. We usually post regular updates there to let you know where we'll be and when we'll be gaming. Hopefully see you at a game night soon. Bye!